This is my ball predator tank. As you can see, it is set up for all flamethrowers and a stone bolter with all the upgrades possible. This tank is my favorite tank in my entire arm. It's fast, and when, as soon as you get it in front of the squad, it just murders any squad it's in front of. With the Strength 6 AP3 weapon and the free movement before the game, you can move up to 30 inches on the first turn and still mow down a squad with your flamethrowers. All the weapons on it are fully functional. I have nine lights built into the tank. All of them are easily replaced. And they last for about six months to a year before you have to replace them. With these, everything is magnetized. So when they blow off a weapon, you can either just simply take it off and put it back on. And obviously, same thing with the turret. All these are really easy to use to be able to turn on the lights. You simply pull it out. You can see the little buttons right there. And the battery pack is very easy to get to as well. To be able to turn these on and off, you'll see you just simply press and hold in the button, wait until it starts flashing between the two, and let go, and that'll turn it off. And then you do the same thing and turn it back on. These are still fully functional weapons. You can still pivot them to the full 180 degrees. And you can still move them up and down. It's the same on both sides. And same thing with the charge. I have built in lights on both all the barrels of the weapons, built in lights for the actual headlights. I have a green light for the eyes of the gunner inside. The gunner's eyes light up green as well as these two spotlights light up green as well. They randomly switch off about every eight seconds or so to a different effect. Once again, this is my favorite tank of my entire army. This is also my best tank that I have for my 1750 tournament army and does its job extremely well. Basically eliminate any squad that I need to right off the bat on the first turn.